Well, that was a hard ride, but my old Malvern star brought me home. Honestly, I feel attached to this Australian machine on which I have ridden so many thousands of miles. It has done everything which my old friend Bruce Small prophesied. It has been admired by continental critics. It is a credit to the workmanship and skill of the Australian craftsmen. That is why I am so proud to know that the manufacturers call this one the Oppie model. Oppie model. Oppie model. I'm Raoul Lucia. This frame is unique because it is an Australian design for Australian conditions and Australian riders. The other real key area is that aerodynamics. The rear wheel cutout provides better flow over the back of the bike. Other aspects are the manufacturing process of the tube to tube construction which gives you really good quality control of each tube before it gets assembled into the bike. In the design of the frame we had a team incorporating the Melbourne Star product development team. We had Phil Anderson doing a lot of ride testing. This is the Melbourne Star Oppie Race Spec C7. We spent a lot of time on the geometry of this bike to make it an all-round racing bike. We did a lot of testing with Phil Anderson in an independent lab in Germany. The key characteristics of this frame are its rideability in, in all conditions. If you're going up Alpe d'Huez or descending something like the Galibier, it's really important to have a strong handling bike. Oh, can't believe how light we've made this. The secret to getting the weight down is the full use of carbon fibre from the tip to toe. gives you a bike which is more comfortable, it accelerates very well, it's a faster bike, you can ride it 200 kilometres and still win the sprint at the finish. finish.